All right, what's up everybody? iPhone 13 Pro with moment lenses. I wanna show you what they all look like on the 13. It's kind of dark, hold on. Let's go do the bathroom. This 13 Pro is honestly nice. There we go, okay. This is the 18 millimeter wide lens, my go-to when it comes to kind of vlogging on the phone. Back on the road mic here, let's flip it around. I'm like blown away. This is the very, check out this clip. This is the first clip I shot when I got the phone. Put the 58 millimeter on over the f1.5. You get that good natural depth of, watch this clip. That is clear. What? That's so sick actually. Oh, I don't film with this lens more. Looks like very SLR-ish. Basically with this video, I just wanna get right to it and I wanna show you what every single one of our lenses looks like on the iPhone 13 Pro. We'll start with the standard wide lens, put all our lenses over that lens, which in my opinion is kind of the main lens. And then just for fun, we'll put all of our lenses over the built-in 3X Tele on this 13 Pro. I guess I could do this first one in real time. There we go, okay. Wow, I'm probably blown out. Okay. Standard built-in wide lens. 18 millimeter moment lens over the standard wide. There might be some flaring. This is our 14 millimeter fisheye lens, my go-to favorite for some skateboarding. Like this, what up? All right, this is our 58 millimeter Tele lens, perfect for portraits, getting really good natural depth of field with this new f1.5 sensor on the 13 Pro. Yeah. All right, anamorphic lens, the cinematic favorite um, of the bunch. So it actually just takes your st the focal length that you put it over. So I think the built-in wide lens on the iPhone is like 25, 26 millimeters, and then it applies a 1.33x squeeze on that footage. This is our macro lens and obviously it's blurry because it has a minimum focus distance of like here. So, I don't know how that looks. That's my eye though. Yeah, kind of a dumb example in this test, but it's our macro lens and it, I'll give you some better example clips later. Oh, and if you are new around here and haven't seen what our lenses look like, this is my little kit and um, I'll just show you the butter anamorphic 1.33 okay now this is pretty exciting this is the built-in 3x lens on the iPhone 13 Pro so this is new this year um, I am shooting in the moment pro camera app our app because it lets you hard select which lens you're shooting out of so when you're adding our lenses it's nice to be able to tell it which lens to shoot out of all right, I'm legitimately sweating now because the sun is, I don't know why I picked this area. This is our 18 millimeter wide lens over the built-in 3X lens. Not sure why you'd want to do this, but I'm not going to tell anyone how to creatively. Our fisheye lens over the 3X. Again, not sure why you would do this. All right, so yeah, there's definitely some, I'm so sweaty. This is the worst scene ever. There's probably a lot of chromatic aberration. I don't even know if I'm in frame. This is an extremely tight focal length, but what's up? I don't know if you'd ever use this. Maybe you could put a crazy effect on it, but then you might as well just shoot digital zoom. There you go. Okay, this one I'm actually really excited about. This is our anamorphic lens over the built-in 3X lens. And this is definitely something I will be using a lot. Uh, just because you get that natural cinematic look and all the good characteristics with our anamorphic lens, now with a tighter focal length. Once again, macro lens over the 3X, which you could get some pretty insane close-up results. Um, not sure if this will show up, but. Okay, everybody, I don't know why I chose the direct path of the sun to do this test, but I do hope that was helpful. I just wanna say I'm really excited how the optics are looking on our lenses. Our lenses will not be able to be used with cinematic mode because it uses like two of the other lenses to do the depth mapping, the two lenses that like you're not using. So with that said, I've tried it. It just doesn't work because you're, you're blocking it right now. This is not a video that's like, you know, look how 
beautiful these shots are. Um, I will do that later. I want to do some cinematic cuts, some actual good B-roll for y'all. This was more just like, yeah, these shots weren't even framed that good. They were just from the exact, like, one tripod the whole time. So you get the idea. I just want to show you what the different focal lengths look like. You know, our lenses can be used in a variety of situations where it's just a tool if you need a different focal length for the shot you're hoping to get. But I'm honestly excited about the quality. Throwing the 58 over the f1.5 now, 58 millimeter of depth with like a larger sensor, like it's looking really good. And the anamorphic, of course, and the wide, it's all looking good. So if you're a Moment Lens user, be super excited that they work awesome for iPhone 13 Pro and 13. Still rolling, yeah, this is my freaking messy garage. And uh, yeah, um, expect more videos soon. This was just a quick one. Wanted to show you the good news and give you quick example if that's something you're interested in. So yeah. All right. Peace.